Hey everyone, I've been meaning to make a video on WPGTK uh, lately, but I just hadn't had the time. So anyway, uh, I wanted to showcase uh, a bit of the customizability of WPGTK, and I'm going to do so by using OpenBooks. It's been a while since I used OpenBooks, so I may be a little rusty, but what I'm going to do is that I want this color scheme. I want this uh, open box theme to change colors along with the rest of the color scheme. So, for example, if I go ahead and do this, it should change along, right? Because it doesn't actually look good uh, being blue color all the time. So I'm just gonna take care of that, and we'll do it with WPGTK. It's gonna be really simple. And I'll start by making a copy of the original theme over here. And I'm going to call it Window Colors. Yes, we're going to make a recursive copy. And we're going to go over Upconf. And you can see it already appears over here. So, well, what's the next step? Next thing we're going to do is we're going to open WPTK. And we're going to go to the Templates uh, tab. And we're going to add a new template. We're going to go to our themes folder over here and our windows color folder should be over here we need to add the theme RC so basically that adds a template to our uh, to our template uh, tab which we can then edit so as you can see here if you've seen uh, an open box theme before it should be pretty standard stuff to you um, it, but in case you haven't uh, it's a pretty simple text file in which you define hex colors or as you can see over here uh, name colors let me sub zoom that it for you in order to uh, define the window colors so anyway since we are in a WPTK base file we can use uh, stuff like for example active Active is keyword in WPTK templates that refers to uh, the active color and the inactive color of the color scheme, which uh, results in things like that. The active color is basically what you see when you highlight. So I have set it to random, but you can specify one single color of all of these colors over here. So 10 corresponds to this color and so on. So um, let's just leave it like that and see what happens when I apply a color scheme. Okay, so uh, as you can see, it already looks a bit different just from that change. So I'm going to do it again. And yes, in fact, it does adapt. So it still doesn't look quite right. So I'm going to go ahead and see how this looks. It looks really, really, really good it's actually much better than before but we still have a problem if I go over here we can see that it's still blue so we're going to go over here and we're going to see the menu items and we're going to change this navy for an active color so you can see over here we already have the active color in the menu so um, we can keep experimenting with this as long as we like to. For example, let's say um, I wanted to fade to a kind of kind of a gray color, so I might do a color seven, for example. As you can see, uh, it also depends on the theme, of course. On on light color schemes, you can see that color seven is supposed to be a dark color, which you can confirm by actually doing this. You can uh, count to seven and realize that it should be a, a, a dark color to contrast with everything, basically. So anyway, uh, you can keep playing around with that and achieve a lot of great effects with this. Um, so it's pretty nice of Openbox to let you do this. You can basically change everything that you don't like over here to actually adapt with WPTTK. So I promise it will be a small video, so I'll leave it like that. And I'll see you whenever I upload a new video. Probably would be on 
uh, going from Beam to Emacs, which I'm using now every day. It was a pretty straightforward transition, so uh, I was planning to make a video on that. Well, anyway, thanks for watching.